Objective 1.2. Describe how specialized cells are adapted to their function, including sperm cells, egg cells, and ciliated epithelial cells. So the cells that we've looked at in the course so far are just generalized cells. In reality, there are over 200 different types of specialized cells in humans that are adapted to carry out particular functions. You'll come across many of these during the GCC course, but for now, we will look at three examples. The ciliated epithelium, sperm cells, and egg cells. Now, cells that line structures in the body are called epithelial cells. Some of these have little hair-like structures on top of them, which we call cilia. Now, these cilia waft to sweep substances along inside these structures. One example is in the oviduct. The oviduct is a tube that leads an egg cell from the ovary down into the uterus, and the cilia help waft that egg along that tube. Another example is in the cells lining your airway and your lungs. These are also ciliated epithelial cells. In those, in those airways, you produce mucus, and the mucus is there to trap dirt and bacteria, and then the cilia waft the mucus back up your trachea so that you can swallow it down into your stomach where the acid will destroy all that dust and bacteria. Now, we're going to look at two specialized cells that are used specifically in reproduction, sperm and egg. In order to make a new human, you need the sperm from the male and then you need it to fuse with the egg from a female. This is what we call fertilization. Sperm and egg cells are known as gametes. Now, gametes have half the genetic information, or as no, they're known as haploid cells, so that when they fuse together, you go back to the full amount of genetic information, which we call a diploid cell. So they have to have half the genetic information in each of these types of cells. Now, in terms of structures, this is the structure of a sperm cell. As you can see, it's got a tail, which it uses for swimming. So it's highly adapted. It's got a nucleus, which is gonna contain that half the genetic material, an acrosome, which contains enzymes that break down the substances in the egg's jelly coat so the sperm can get in. It's got a cell surface membrane. It's got mitochondria, loads of them there, packed in to provide the energy for the tail. The egg cell, it's got a cell membrane. It's a very large cell. It's got something called a jelly coat, which protects the egg and hardens after fertilization, so only one sperm can enter. The nucleus, which is this haploid nucleus, which is gonna fuse with the sperm when the sperm gets inside. And then cytoplasm, which is packed with nutrients to supply that fertilized egg with energy and raw materials for growth.